Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of our 3-part listicle series on the most well-known NFT marketplaces. As you know, the year 2021 brings with it a creative and entertaining spurt with lots of artists, gamers, fashion designers, and content creators putting their works on offer as NFTs. This also allows these creatives to collaborate and innovate on each other's artworks. Prominent conventional institutions which run on centralized systems like sports organizations and media outlets have also tapped into the NFT market. For instance, American broadcasting company CNN is considering making photographs, videos, and documents of world historical milestones it has recorded throughout its 40-year-plus operations as NFTs. Even the social media giant Facebook is now in the process of developing its own digital wallet called Novi, which dedicates itself to selling and managing digital assets as NFTs. Meanwhile, the basketball organization NBA has also made its trading cards available as NFTs. In this episode, we will talk about the marketplaces we haven't covered in our previous episode, discussing the distinctive features as well as the types of digital assets they sell. Okay, I can go and on and on about the most recent NFT trend because there are plenty. So now, keeping that context in mind, let's go to the three of the most popular NFT platforms we have right now. As its name suggests, the NFT Marketplace Foundation dedicates itself to individuals who already have a strong foundation in the digital asset and cryptocurrency field, whether as a seller or a buyer. Primarily focusing on digital art, they have an idealist mission of moving culture forward while calling themselves the new creative economy. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, they are also very experimental and innovative. They have invited various people who are already somewhat well-versed on the basics of digital asset and crypto trading to also shake that foundation to reimagine it. They involve creators to experiment with crypto, playing with the con concept of value. True to their provocative nature, they call on creators to hack, subvert, and manipulate the value of creative work. Foundation helps artists who trade NFTs on their marketplace make 10% of the secondary transactions, meaning the artist receives 10% of the sales value anytime a buyer resells their works to someone else. Atomic Market is an NFT market smart contract used by multiple websites. It is a shared liquidity market, meaning that it allows everything listed on one market to also show on all other markets. It has features which allow you to tokenize, create digital assets, buying, selling, and auctioning assets using the Atomic Assets Marketplace. The Atomic Markets also prevent NFTs to counterfeit products from circulating on its platform by verifying the items being made available there with a check mark. They blacklist NFTs to counterfeit or potentially dangerous items as well. Okay. Although it is called myth market, the prowess of this NFT marketplace is more than just a myth. It's real actually. It's called myth market because it sells trading cards featuring mythical figures from the trading card reality, so to speak. Anyways, if you are a trading card enthusiast, you must have already been familiar with this platform. MythMarket is an omnibus online marketplace comprising various digital trading card brands. Currently featured markets include GPK Market, the Garbage Pail Kids Cards, the GoPP.Market for the GoPP trading cards, Heroes.Market for the Blockchain Heroes trading cards, the KOGS Market for the KOGS trading cards, also the Shatner.Market for the William Shatner Memorabilia. Well, sounds exciting, right? The diversity in which NFT marketplaces exist in terms of their features as well as products offered. In the first part of the series, we are already saturated with art-themed contents. Now you can get insights on where to buy or sell your trading cards or even your physical properties. Yet, we have yet to get to the end of this NFT marketplace listicle series. So stay tuned for the third episode, final part of this three-part series in order to learn more about exciting NFT marketplaces out there.